everybody, welcome back to Camp in a Box. Today we're going to make our own solar system mobile to hang around our house. For this activity, you're going to need black and white paint, some glitter, a paper plate, a length of yarn, a sheet of construction paper, our templates in the kit, a sheet of cardboard, and then something to apply color like markers or colored pencils. To get started, go ahead and paint your paper plate black or gray on both sides. You'll want to work fairly quickly. While the paint is still wet, go ahead and grab your cup of glitter and sprinkle a layer of glitter over the wet paint to help it stick. Once you've added the glitter, go ahead and take your white paint and a paintbrush and use your thumb to splatter the paint onto your paper plate. This will create somewhat of a star effect on your paper plate. Once you're happy with the number of stars you have on your plate, go ahead and set this aside so it dries completely and repeat this process on the empty side of the plate. While your paper plate is drying, let's go ahead and make the sun, which will act as an anchor for our wind catcher. Cut out the sun template that's provided in your Camp in the Box kit, and then trace the shape onto your sheet of cardboard. Go ahead and cut out the sun as soon as you're done tracing it. Now that you have a sturdier template, go ahead and trace the sun onto the two sheets of yellow construction paper and cut out both of your yellow suns. Now we're going to glue the yellow suns to the cardboard sun. Start by adding a nice layer of glue to the middle of the cardboard sun and then match up your yellow sun to the points on the cardboard sun and press it down gently. Once the center of the sun is secure, go ahead and grab your glue and glue down individual rays of the sun. You can either do it one by one or in groups of three. Repeat this process on the opposite side of the sun and on those sun's rays until everything is glued down and secure. Set your sun aside to dry with the plate. While everything is drying, go ahead and grab your markers or colored pencils and start coloring in the planets on the solar system template that we've provided. You could look up the planets in our solar system to get kind of an accurate color scheme, or you could use your own colors and your imagination to create a whole new solar system somewhere far off in the galaxy. Once you're done coloring, go ahead and cut out all of the planets. Next, you're going to want to punch two holes opposite each other on your sun, most likely in the actual different rays. I tried to punch holes in the main body of the sun, kind of on the inside of the smaller rays, and that didn't end up working. Next, you're going to want to take the length of yarn that you got in your kit and then cut it in half. Then you'll string the sun piece through that half length of yarn and then tie it into a loop. You'll use this loop to hang your wind catcher on a nail or a branch outside. To make the wind catcher itself, draw a spiral starting from the center of your paper plate and working your way towards the outside edge. Remember to leave a decent sized space in the middle for you to punch a hole. The thickness of your spiral should be about two finger widths thick. Once you're done drawing the spiral, go ahead and cut it out using a pair of scissors. Now you're going to punch a hole into that center piece of your spiral. This is where you will connect the wind catcher itself to the sun. Take your remaining yarn and tie one end of it through this hole with a sturdy knot. Now we can finally start gluing on our planets. I decided to go in solar system order, but if you're creating your own alien solar system, 
you could do whatever order of planets that you'd like. Be sure to give the planets a little bit of time to dry before moving on to the next step. I went with the solar system approach, so I went ahead and drew in some brown and black circles to represent the asteroid belt. I also used the tip of my paintbrush to add in both the Earth's moon and Mars's moons. Now it's time to attach the sun. Thread the bottom end of your sun through the yarn that's attached to the wind catcher and keep sliding it down until you've reached your desired length of yarn. Tie your yarn into a strong knot and then cut off any extras. If you would like, you can go ahead and decorate the sun as well. I kept it simple with just adding a little orange, but you can give your sun a smiley face or a cool pair of sunglasses. And that wraps it up for our solar system mobile. Make sure you let the paint and glue dry completely before hanging the mobile up around your house or outside. Thanks so much for crafting with me today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.